Deep in the heart of magic lie secrets that dare to defy the laws of nature. Today we venture into the shadows of illusion, where danger and enchantment intertwine. We'll explore the world of magic so perilous, it leaves spectators on the edge of their seats, their hearts pounding. We'll reveal the covert principles behind these terrifying tricks, unmasking the unseen and the unheard. It's a journey filled with anticipation and curiosity. So are you ready to unravel the mysteries of the most dangerous magic tricks? First, we ascend into the world of the impossible, levitation. The image of a human body defying the law of gravity, rising into thin air, is one that has captivated audiences for centuries. Levitation is an art form that traces its roots back to ancient mystics and has since evolved into a staple of modern magic shows. Viewers gasp, eyes wide with disbelief as they witness this seemingly dangerous feat. After all, defying gravity is not a game. But what if I told you there's no real danger involved? That's right. The secret to levitation isn't found in mystical powers or alien technology. It's all about cleverly designed rigs and invisible wires. These rigs, often custom-made, are designed to support the weight of the performer. Hidden beneath clothing or cleverly disguised within the stage setup, they give the illusion of the performer floating in mid-air. Invisible wires, on the other hand, are attached to the performer in such a way that they remain unseen by the audience, allowing the performer to appear as if they are levitating. The beauty of levitation lies in its simplicity. The magician's skill is in their ability to make the complex appear effortless, to make the impossible seem possible. It's a testament to the power of illusion, to the art of making the audience believe in the unbelievable. So the next time you see someone floating, remember, it's not anti-gravity at work, but the art of illusion. From floating in the air, we dive straight into the belly of danger, sword swallowing. This is no ordinary trick, and it's certainly not for the faint of heart. It's a spectacle that has been both fascinating and terrifying audiences for centuries. But how is it done? What's the secret behind this seemingly life-threatening stunt? The trick of sword swallowing is far more than just an illusion. It's a perfect blend of practice, physical control, and precise angling. Unlike most magic tricks, it doesn't rely on deception or sleight of hand. Instead, it's a testament to the performer's mastery over their body and mind. The first step in mastering this dangerous art is understanding the human anatomy. The performer must learn to suppress natural gag reflexes as they guide the sword down their esophagus. This requires intense concentration and exceptional control over one's body. It's not something that can be learned overnight, and it certainly isn't something that should be tried at home. Next comes the practice. This isn't your average practice session though, it's a grueling process of conditioning the body to accept the sword. It involves gradually introducing the body to the sensation, starting with smaller objects and slowly working up to a sword. This too requires immense patience and dedication. The final piece of the puzzle is the perfect angling. The performer must guide the sword at just the right angle to avoid causing harm. This is where the real danger lies. One wrong move, and the performer could suffer serious injury. That's why it's so crucial to have a deep understanding of the body's internal structure. So, there you have it. The secret behind the sword-swallowing spectacle is a mix of practice, physical control, and perfect angling. It's a testament to the human body's incredible capabilities and the length some will go to entertain. But here's the final word of caution. Remember, though it's a trick, it's not for the faint-hearted or the untrained. This is one spectacle that truly blurs the line between magic and reality, between illusion and danger. Now we turn up the heat with a fiery escape. Few magic tricks captivate audiences quite like the daring spectacle of a magician escaping from a burning box or slipping free from a flaming rope. The danger is real, the heat is palpable, and the suspense is palpable. It's no wonder we're drawn to the edge of our seats. The first part of this trick lies in the preparation. The box or rope used in the act is treated with fireproof materials, ensuring they can withstand the heat for a period of time without causing harm to the magician. This doesn't mean the magician is immune to the flames, quite the contrary. It's part of the risk that makes this trick so thrilling. Now, for the escape. It may seem like a miraculous feat of agility and speed, but in reality, it's a meticulously rehearsed set of moves. Each step is planned and practiced to perfection, allowing the magician to escape with split-second precision. The key is in the timing. Every second counts when you're playing with fire. And that brings us to the final part of this dangerous trick. The timed actions. 
Behind the scenes, a team is working tirelessly to monitor the flames and ensure the magician's safety. When the time is right, they'll extinguish the fire, often just moments after the magician has made their dramatic escape. While it may seem like a death-defying act of bravery, the magician is never truly in harm's way thanks to the careful planning and execution of the trick. The real magic lies in the illusion of danger and the skill of the magician in making it all seem so real. As they say, don't play with fire unless you know the trick. The fiery escape is a testament to this. It's a dangerous game, but when done right, it's an incredible spectacle that leaves audiences in awe. And now, you know the secret behind it. The magic, as always, is in the details. Finally, we arrive at the most dangerous trick of all, the bullet catch. This is the trick that has claimed the lives of at least 12 magicians throughout history. It's a lethal game of illusion, where a split second can make all the difference between life and death. The bullet catch is an audacious trick that dates back to the 16th century. It involves a magician seemingly catching a bullet fired directly at them, usually in their mouth or hand. The audience is left astounded, wondering how the magician could possibly have survived. But like all magic tricks, it's not about defying the laws of physics, it's about defying expectations. So what's the secret? Well, it all comes down to a well-orchestrated act involving a marked bullet, sleight of hand, and a convincing performance. Let's break it down. Firstly, the bullet. Before the trick begins, the magician marks a bullet, usually with the help of a volunteer from the audience. This is to convince the audience that the bullet being fired is the same one that's caught. But in reality, the magician switches the marked bullet with a wax or blank bullet. Then comes the sleight of hand. The magician must make the switch without the audience noticing. This requires incredible skill, as the magician must manipulate the audience's attention so they don't see what's really happening. Finally, the performance. The magician must then convincingly pretend to catch the bullet, often producing the marked bullet from their mouth. This requires not only acting skills, but also a mastery of timing. The magician must synchronize their actions with the sound of the gunshot, making it seem as if they've caught the bullet in the split second after it's fired. It's an act of deception, artistry, and courage. The bullet catch is a trick that pushes the boundaries of what we believe is possible, reminding us that sometimes the most dangerous illusions are the ones we choose to believe. It's a lethal game of illusion, where a split second can make all the difference between life and death. So there you have it, the secrets behind some of the most dangerous magic tricks. We've delved into the depths of the art of illusion, unmasking the methods that defy gravity, challenge the human body, and play with fire. Let's take a moment to revisit these magic marvels one last time. We began with the art of levitation, a trick that has left audiences gasping in awe for centuries. It's a blend of physical theatrics, clever angles, and sometimes even magnets. Remember, it's not about defying gravity, but rather creating the illusion of doing so. Then we moved on to the sword-swallowing spectacle, a trick as old as time that tests the limits of the human body. A steady hand, a well-trained throat, and a whole lot of courage are the real secrets behind this heart-stopping act. Next was the fiery escape, a trick that combines illusion and danger in a heart-pounding spectacle. Remember, it's not just about escaping the shackles, but also about controlling the fire and timing the act to perfection. Our journey then took us to the bullet catch, a trick that's as risky as it gets. While it may seem like a death-defying act, it's actually a carefully choreographed performance that relies on sleight of hand, misdirection, and a bullet that never really leaves the gun. Throughout our exploration, we've seen that these tricks are more than just stunts. They're a mix of illusion, science, and artistry. They push boundaries and play with our perceptions, creating a sense of wonder and suspense that keeps us on the edge of our seats. Remember, while these secrets may be revealed, the true magic lies in the performance, the suspense, and the thrill it brings. So, even though we've uncovered the methods behind the madness, the magic remains. It's not about the secret, but how it's revealed. Until next time, keep the magic alive.